Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here, and today I wanna to show you the fastest way to edit to the beat in Premiere Pro. Now, there are a lot of other tutorials out there that say they have the fastest way, but I promise you, this really is the fastest. So I've got this piece of music in my timeline and I want to cut to a new shot of a cat on the beat or every time I clap my hands. In this example, I'll be using video clips, but this method works with still images as well. So I'm just going to open up my folder here. And here are all the shots of cats that I need to cut into this sequence. There's a lot of them and I really don't wanna to have to cut them manually. Now, the first thing I need to do is arrange these clips into the order I want to see them, as well as set any in points for the clips. And all of this can actually be done in the one place and that's the project panel here. So I actually want this panel to fill my whole screen. So I'm gonna move my mouse over the panel and I'm gonna press the most magic shortcut in Premiere Pro and that's the accent grav key. It's below the escape key and above the tab key on my keyboard. Wherever my mouse is hovered over when I press that key, it makes the panel bigger. So now I can see more of my clips at once. Now I'm looking at this bin in list mode, which only tells me the name of each clip, which isn't very useful to us. Instead, I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm gonna switch over to the icon view. And I'll also just drag this slider over so I can make the thumbnails a little bit bigger. One of the great advantages of working in icon view is that unlike list view, where you can only sort items by their metadata, here you can create a custom order for your clips. So if I wanted, let's say, this clip at the start of my sequence, I can just click and drag this to the very start. And what else? Maybe I'll just move this one over here and I'll move this one down here. And with some of these clips, I also need to set where the clip starts on the timeline. And I can also set those in points right inside this project panel. You'll notice that if I hover my mouse over any of these clips, if I drag from left to right, I'm actually scrubbing across the clip. So I might just find the place where I want this clip to start, maybe where the cat looks up there. And when I find that spot, I just press the I key and I've set the in point for that clip. And this is a really fast way to set in points without having to load them in your source monitor at the same time. So I can just go over here to this clip now and I'll just drag it across. Maybe there's a point here where the cat looks up like this and I just press I. You can just very quickly move through all of these clips just by dragging and then press I to set your in point. Okay, so I've arranged the clips in order. I've set their in points. Now I'm gonna restore the project panel back to its original size just by pressing the accent grav key again. And now I want to add them to the timeline in the order that I've arranged them. So I'll just get my playhead here on my timeline. I'll just move this to the very start of the timeline. I'll go over to my project panel. I'll select the first clip. And then I wanna select all of the clips. So I'm gonna press Command A or Control A if you're on a PC. And I'm gonna go down to this option here, which is Automate to Sequence. I'll click this. And if we look at our options here, I want the ordering to be the order that I've selected them in. I want them to be placed sequentially. For the clip overlap, I actually want this to be set to zero. I don't want them to overlap. I want them to be hard cuts, which means I'll also turn off any transitions. And I'll also say to ignore, oops, ignore the audio. So I don't wanna bring the audio in, I just wanna bring the video in. And then I'll click okay. And now we've got all of our clips in the timeline. And if I hit the backward slash key, I can see there are all of the clips there going well past my music. I'll hit backward slash again so I can zoom back to where I was. And now I need to sync them to the beat. But before I do this, I need to know how long each clip needs to be. So remember when I was clapping to the music, I need to know what the duration is between each clap. So I might just zoom in on my timeline here just by pressing the plus key so I can see things a little bit clearer. And I wanna find where that first cut point is in my music. So I'll press play. So it's round about there. And this is the one thing you really wanna get quite accurate. So I'm gonna use my arrow keys to back this up and find out exactly where that beat is happening. So I'll just press the left key. And then I'll just move forward with the right key. Yeah, so it sounds like that beat is happening there. So then I'll press O to set the in point. 
actually it looks like I'm kind of overlapping the beat a bit there. If I zoom in a little bit more, you can see I've got a little bit of that next beat in there. So I might actually just back up one and press O again. And now I can see that each clip needs to be one second and 21 frames long. So then how do I change all of these clips to be that long? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock my music because I don't wanna make any changes to that. And I'm gonna press Command A to select all or Control A if you're on a PC. And I'm gonna go over to my clip menu and bring up my speed and duration settings. You can also use the shortcut Command R or Control R to bring these up. Now you usually use these settings to adjust the speed of your clips, but you can also use it just to change the duration. So I wanna keep the speed at 100%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over to this little lock icon and I'm gonna click it to unlock it. So the speed and duration are not in sync with each other. And for the duration, I'm gonna set this to this number over here. So it's 121. And one other really important setting here is this checkbox down here, ripple edit shifting trailing clips. And what this is gonna do if I check it is if there are any gaps between the clips after I've altered their duration, it's gonna close those gaps. Let's just press backward slash again so we can see all of our timeline. It looks like we've got more clips than we need. We may need to delete some of them. But now what I'm gonna do is just clear that selection that I have there just by pressing the option X key, or if you're on a PC, that shift control X. I'll move to the start of the sequence and let's see if these cuts are in time now. And there you go, everything is in sync with my music. If you've done all of this and you find that everything isn't perfectly in sync, it's worth just going back to those speed duration settings. So Command R to bring them up or Control R on a PC. Just go into the duration and use your up and down keys to try and fine tune this and see if you can get it more accurately. So there you have it, the fastest way to edit to the beat in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this useful and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And also if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.